Hello, hello, my friends. All right, so today we're going to look at forces. Um, we're starting our unit on dynamics. So the first thing is, what is a force? So a force is basically, in its simplest form, a push or a pull. Okay, that's as simple as it gets. Um, and then, is a force a vector or scalar quantity? Well, hopefully you're thinking vector. It does have a magnitude and a direction. All right, so there's a bunch of different kinds of forces. So basically, we just need to kind of jot them all down so that we can begin looking at them. So uh, you have frictional force. This is going to oppose sliding motion between surfaces and it's parallel to the surface opposite direction of the sliding. So if you have a box and say it is moving in this direction, then friction would be opposing it in that direction. And that's parallel to the surface. All right, normal, this is a very important one. Normal is the contact force exerted by a surface of an object. It's perpendicular to and away from the surface. So essentially, if this is um, like say a book right here and it's sitting on this table, how come it's not falling straight through the floor? Like what's preventing it from doing that? Well, it's the force that the table exerts on the book. So that is perpendicular to the surface. So here's our surface, that's perpendicular. Um, so basically, perpendicular to the surface, always, um, it's basically what's keeping it from falling through the floor, right? Okay, let's see, applied force is any ab, um, act on an object that could cause it to push or pull in any way. So say that um, I applied a force, you know, of, I don't know, some amount of Newtons um, to accelerate my block in that direction. Okay, so that could be an applied force. Um, tension. Tension is when we're looking at, say, something suspended by cables or strings or something. So that's our tensional force. It's basically just showing us that our, um, our force is being distributed between those two. All right, and then we have net force. Net force is basically the um, applied forces minus the frictional forces. So say I have you know something and it's sliding along and frictional forces are equal to 10 Newtons, but my, um, that'd be negative 10 because of the direction, right? And then say my applied force is, um, I don't know, we'll say 15 Newtons, and that's positive direction. Net force is the difference between these two, so it'd be positive 5. So it actually has an overall resultant of positive 5 <coughs> Newtons in the right direction. All right, and last but not least, this is the one that always is there, is the easiest one to start with, always start with it, which is gravity. Every object that has um, a mass, which means it's matter, has gravity pulling down on it. Um, and it's always defined as FG, so straight towards the center of the Earth or the planet, whatever you're talking about. All right, so let's talk about Newton's laws of motions real quick. Um, so the first law of motion <clears throat> says an object in motion stays in motion. Objects that are at rest stay at rest unless you act upon them with some unbalanced force. So basically, if something is sitting right here, it's going to stay sitting there unless some other force comes and bothers it. Or if, you know, you have an object that's moving, okay, so if this is moving, it's going to stay moving unless it gets some sort of opposing uh, force that's going to cause it and have to be unbalanced, so no net um, force here but basically to change its motion. Uh, we call this the law of inertia. Inertia is basically the tendency of an object either to stay at rest or in motion and resist a change in velocity. All right, um, second law. This is probably the one that is um, the most common, I guess, the, the most popular one that most people have heard of. Second law of motion says that force acting on an object is equal to the product of the object's mass times acceleration. In other words, F equals MA. 
So our mass note is always in kilograms in this formula, and our acceleration is always in meters per second squared. Newtons is the unit for force, and notice that a newton is equivalent to, my bad, to um, kilograms, because that's your mass unit, times meters per second squared. All right, lastly is Newton's third law of motion. It says when an object exerts a force on another object, the second object exerts a, exerts a reaction force equal in magnitude and opposite in direction as the first. Okay, so classic example is the book that's sitting there, right? So the book is um, exerting a downward force of uh, our force due to gravity on the table. The table, because the book is staying there, right, is going to exert an equal and opposite force. We call that normal force um, to offset that, okay? So equal and opposite. Um, you could also have like a wall and you have a little guy and say he pushes on the wall with, you know, um, I don't know, 15 newtons of force, the wall pushes back on him with 15 newtons of force.